Uh, my name is Andres Cabrera. I am from Geeks of Color. Denise and Kyle. Uh, hey, Andres. How are you guys? Thank you so much for doing this. It is a pleasure to be here with you guys today. Uh, Thank you. You too. I'm so excited to talk to you too. So, uh, Denise, I have to start off by saying under the banner of heaven is the best show i've seen all year it's incredible oh yeah. thank you very much i thought your performance was amazing that scene at the gas station just that's the one <laughs> incredible thank it God killed for that me scene. uh oh. and kyle your work in the inheritance is something that's also incredible and i feel oh. like when it comes to those thematic elements as far as uh, societal change and community and coming together and kind of rising up against this kind of fascist regime it, it, it are themes that are seen in Star Wars, but are themes that have seen in, you know, stuff like Under the Banner of Heaven and in The Inheritance, as far as a, a community getting together and realizing, uh, you know, holding people in power responsible and accountable. How do you feel like those themes are seen from your character's point of view and also in and or in general? Well, first, wow. I, th I think it's so it's so interesting, isn't it? Because it's a tale as old as time revolution. Yeah. Like it goes yeah. so far back and overthrowings and rebellions and all of that is throughout history all over the world. And it's amazing to me that these works of fiction then immediately resonate with people. Like the power that just TV has in general, especially long form, things like this, and that spans so many generations. Like Star Wars is old, man, it's ancient. So the fact that we're still able to use works of fiction to resonate with people in a way that makes them even subliminally have more of an awareness of how we're all behaving as a human as the human race you know and it's interesting how that that cyclical development of of revolution and peace and revolution and peace it's it's it, it, it's doesn't seem like it's ever yeah. going away yeah and it's part of how we have managed to create this world that we live in, unfortunately. Mm. And I think what Andor is doing, which, you know, it's it's taking a lot of inspiration from World Wars, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's it's exploring what power hungry people do with more power and how poisonous that can become. And if you don't have a sense of self, right? Isn't that also? It, yeah, like a... totally, totally. And um, when there is no sense of community and there is an us and a them and the haves and the have nots. And when you have a divide like that, um, in which is being explored in, in Andor, then it's, it's ripe for all of these kind of wonderful and horrible things to happen mm -hmm. and setting the stage for like what will be an unbelievable sacrifice in Rogue One at the end of the film, mm -hmm. right? So what I find really amazing about this production as a whole is that what the writers and especially Tony have managed to do is do light and shade across the board. Mm -hmm. Nothing is black and white, nothing. Like we have people who, when you delve into people's backstory, which is what long form allows you to do, you start to have to ask yourself the questions of whether you can see yourself and you, you wind up seeing yourself in some of the darkest of places. And it's like yeah. holding mirrors up to the individual mm. um, and whether or not that then resonates societally or whatever. But I think that what this does individually, like and or Cassian does some questionable things in, in Rogue One and yet you still, your heart breaks for him. And when I think of watching Rogue One again, after we finish 24 episodes of Andor, my heart will be smashed to pieces because this very human person is going to do what we know he's going to do. And you're going to have seen him go on this whole journey. And then you're faced also with people that you consider to be villains, but because we're being given a kind of a platform to show all their shades, who knows who you might feel yourself connecting with and identifying with and and the more that we can identify with each other in all our shades the better right I mean that can only be a good thing and I think that's what I really love about Star Wars now and these kind of epic sprawling prequels and it's giving us access to ourselves a little bit more isn't it mm. 
Yeah, I, I think that's an absolutely amazing thing. And I'm so excited to see you guys in this. I, I'm so glad to have you guys a part of the Star Wars community. Uh, I think it's an absolute privilege to have two amazing talents. Uh, I love your theater work. I, I love your work on TV and film. So uh, welcome to Star Wars. And I oh. hope to see more of you guys. So thank uh, you so man. much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, have an amazing day, guys. Thank you so much thank for your time. You.